yeah using this example um, we need to do the conversion uh, using the exchange rates so in the in the first case we don't need a conversion because uh, it should be one is to one ratio but in this case we need to do a conversion the conversion must be done um, using the exchange rates so let's see what is the exchange rate from uh, USD to USD to Euro so here it shows uh, USD and you convert USD to uh, the Euro the exchange rate is 0.85 so let's say if you buy if you need to buy one euro with the, with the, sorry with the with the USD of uh, one USD is equal to zero point eight five euro. Eight five euro. So this conversion, when we do conversion using USD to Euro, then it's called a direct conversion. So because our functional currency is a Euro, yeah. So since our functional currency is Euro. So this will be called a direct rate. Yeah? So to get the indirect rate, so this is a call indirect. So to get the indirect rate, you can use, let's say, since since um, it's it's already uh, 0.85, so maybe you can take one divided by 0.85. Is this is your indirect rate so it means if you take a euro one euro is equal to how much is the let's say yeah euro to USD so you can see 1.85 here one point it shows You can see when you do it's it's around coming as a 1.18 so it's a rounding up here so uh, you can see this is how indirect rate will be derived so this is called a direct rate yeah hope this is clear And uh, the other one we call as a indirect rate. One okay. So now uh, let's see how the what is the system set up in our case here we are taking a company code 0055 from the SAP so I'm going to show you so how the conversion is happening in the system So it takes some time to, do, to go into the details for the system. So to check uh, here, so you need to go to the financial accounting, financial accounting global settings. And company code. And here there's a currencies. So you can see the currencies, additional currencies, 
and parallel accounting so these are where um, uh, here is the currencies so you click on the define additional local currencies so now double click on the company code so it just show a warning message so you can see here so click OK just ignore these messages click enter as so now you can see here where is the company's code is set up here so the, our company code is set up here this is a first local currency so here in our case uh, to give you a, a better example um, what I can uh, put a side by side well so here Just put exit unit. Yeah, this is good. Okay, so now I have here a different screen. So I just go to the currencies first. So this is the exchange rate, and um, this is IMG. So I close this screen. Uh, this is some more screens are open. This is additional currency setting. So under the additional currency, this is a valuation which is actually I don't need it. So I will close this. Okay. So here in the system, what is actually done, you can see. So they have a parallel currencies in, in, in the existing setup. If you see, this is the one where you define your company code currency. So this is called a company code currency, which is a 10. Yeah, so you can see here, which is a currency type. So this is called currency type. So in this case, it will be a zero, 00 for the document currency. And this is a 10 for a, what you call, uh, for the company code currency. And you have another one called a, a group currency. So let's say 30, which is a group currency. So in this example, um, you can see here, yeah, so this is where, let's uh, put it aside here, yeah, so here you can see the group currency, so this we do have a hard currency also, so we can uh, maintain the hard currency also here, and uh, which is a hard currency. So which is called 40. So now in the case of a group currency, same euro. In the case of hard currency is USD. Yeah. So these are the parallel currencies. Okay. So it's in the system for the company code what um, we have here. So now, um, when you do the conversion, what is the rate should be used? So for this one, is posted originally like this, and this will be converted. So what is used here, you can see, 
what is the basis and uh, source currency this is called source currency in this case to convert to company code currency is here you can see the transactional basis you can see here this is a uh, where um, let me just uh, give you a quick uh, here so if you look into this this tool is actually where you are converting using a transactional currency which is here so this is where is the transactional currency is used to do the conversion um, um, to the local currency so this is the currency which is used to, to do the conversion so now in the case of a group currency okay this is a group currency so when you do the group currency they use they don't use this and they don't use the original currency of the document and they use which is a company code currency so this is a functional currency they use the euro to do the conversion to the group currency here so to do the conversion to the group currency they use this is a functional currency then they will put it at the value here so what will happen um, this is how the flow is going to happen from here to here then the flow will happen from here to here so this is where so in our case company code currency is the same as a, a group currency so this is how uh, you can see uh, the translation date so what should be the basis uh, for the translation date so usually every document when you're po posting whether it should use invoice date what date uh, should be used for exchange rate uh, conversion whether you need to use uh, uh, local uh, what you call uh, the to do the conversion uh, which date so you can set whether the date should be a translation date or, or a document date or a posting date so this can be set inside the each of the currency type definition here so you can use and another one here is this one so here you can see what should be the source currency yeah so you can see you can you can you can put the source currency in translation taking a, a transactional currency as a basis and translation taking a first local currency as a basis and uh, you can you can set this but in, in our case um, here so so in our case here you can see this is a for the company code currency and the second local currency is this one they are taking as a company code currency so they, what they are doing and um, here from the document currency original currency it will transfer here so where you don't see it here so in the case of uh, euro to to um, in the case of converting the company code currency to euro then the system will do the conversion from here to here and again after that also from here to here so this is where um, the, the conversion will happen uh, in the case you can see here the source currency yeah so hope and um, you understand the company code setup uh, for the currency so you should be very careful when you're doing this setup for the company code and uh, once you do this and uh, you can do a change of the translation date 
uh, after the 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 go live is really needed and i don't recommend but uh, yeah it's a few changes uh, can be done like it, uh, whether you want to change from document date to posting date or a translation date but i don't recommend to do the change for a translation um, currency or a source currency so hope um, you understand on 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 on, on these uh, currencies uh, here how how the setup is done for for uh, the sap yeah so now uh, in this case we understand the basic steps here so currencies in the case of uh, exchange rates um, 